Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizzish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your content concierge city pages for your uh, for SEO. So here's what I mean by that. Uh, let's say if this is your main website, and uh, let's say the the keyword you're trying to rank for, let's for let's pretend that this is called Demo Beach. Let's pretend this place really exists. Okay. So let's pretend if your site, if your main objective for your website was to rank for Demo Beach real estate that keyword phrase and the related phrases to demo beach well how do you rank for secondary terms so let's say if I have I have extra cities that might be my secondary cities that I want to also try to get ranking in Google for um, here's an example like Christoph Chu for instance we'll go to Google right now and uh, let's just we'll pull up the, the main site is Beverly Hills real estate and we see that that's on the first page and you notice that the website the main keywords for this website are ranking for Beverly Hills however there's secondary keywords such as Sunset Strip let's say Sunset Strip real estate that an inner page is also on the first page of you know basically a concierge page and notice the keywords they're different they're the Sunset Strip ones I wanna show you how to do this for your content concierge pages that are the cities that are the extra pretty much the extra keywords you're trying to get on the first page of Google for Alright, so here's what we want to first do. Uh, the example cities are going to be these three, Atlantis, Gotham City, and the Land of Oz. And uh, basically what we're going to do is the same thing for all of them, but with different keyword phrases. So let's just go ahead and go to our admin panel first. So here we are in our admin panel. Now let's go to categories because we got to go to our concierge pages. So under posts, we go to categories. And then once this thing is, starts loading up, here's our categories we now have here on the right side a list of all of our categories and what we want to do is pretty much optimize our actual city pages so here's what you want to do go into each one of these one by one I'm gonna show you on one example but you'll do the same thing for all the cities that you're gonna to try to get secondary ranking for as well like I showed you with um, the two keywords earlier from uh, Christoph Chu's website so see here at Atlantis let's click on edit and what we're going to do is enter our keywords into the following places. So in this page, we have loads of options here. We have a section here that says slug, all this stuff. Ignore everything. Just jump to this straight part. Just jump to the straight part here that says title tag, meta description, meta keywords, and then robots meta tag. All right, here's what you got to do for all of these. And actually, I'll give you a couple pointers for these two items as well. But basically, here's what you want to do. What you want to do is first look at your city name and this is going to be the case regardless of your city name you're going to do this for your market. So the city name that I'm that I'm using is Atlantis, all right? So what you're going to do is the following. Enter your city name Atlantis and then the ter the word real estate and then hit a hyphen, then enter at Atlantis homes for sale and then hit a space hyphen space and then one more Atlantis houses. Now here's the little difference for your market. I'm saying the word houses, but if you have a market that's like way more heavily focused on condos or condominiums or townhouses, then replace it with that keyword phrase here at the end. All right. So if your area was condos, because it, it's really big, like for instance, if you're in Miami, then do condos. You know, or if you're in somewhere in in the LA area, do condos, for instance. You know, but think about your market, okay, and be and be realistic. Either go houses condos or townhomes whatever is the keyword that would most likely be used in your region but pretty much do this exactly for the title tag here and then for all your cities and pretty much so basically what I'm saying is so you see how this one is Atlantis this exact phrasing and spacing and everything what you would do is just go to your other city names so I like see uh, and I'll come back to the rest of this but basically the title tag here will just t we'll copy and paste this title tag and then um, after, let's assume this one was done you'll go to your next city let's say Gotham City for instance and then under here the title tag you'll paste the same one but you'll replace the word Atlantis with Gotham City or whatever your respective city of course and keep the spacing exactly as I, as I have provided so see how there's no spacing here but there is a spacing here that's intentional and then now this one Gotham City Houses so so basically, that's what the title tag, that's how you want to treat the title tag for all of these. Now let's talk about the meta description. So for the, for the meta description, here's what you want to do. I've written one up, and, I'll, and I'll, I've provided this one with the video tutorial, 
Basically, there's a meta description that looks just like this. What you want to do is replace the name city name, and it happens three times. City name here, or twice, and city name here. What you want to do is replace city name with the respective city name that you're doing. So if we're doing Gotham City, we'll replace that city name, and we'll replace this city name here. And basically your meta description is these are the this is the description that appears in Google search results uh, meaning this so let's just type in San Francisco real estate oh, it doesn't matter we'll just type in San Francisco so you see here how there, there's a little description this is your meta description and this is the title tag that we're doing earlier so the title tag is was that blue link and the, here's the meta description so basically just copy the exact one I provided or here's what I would also suggest. Um, uh, you, what you want to do is change this up a little bit. So if you feel an easier way to write this, because you don't want all, if you have a lot of cities, you don't want them all having the same meta description. So switch up these kind of phrasings however you can. So maybe instead of saying, instead of saying um, view all homes for sale, you can say find all, find every, you know, find every, and then Gotham City, or Go yeah, Gotham, yeah, Gotham City city homes for sale and find and get a great deal you know I'm just showing you variations to change it because essentially you don't want to have duplicate title tags on all of them you know so so um, you know search for you know search search for for all homes on the Gotham City real estate market you know so just think of different ways to change this up for your meta descriptions but keep the main core more or less the same as you see here alright so now we have a we have a we've done our title tag You'll do the same meta description more or less, like except changing up the way I said, but be sure to change your city name uh, respectively wherever it appears. And then now under meta keywords, we gotta do the following. For meta keywords, we'll enter the city that we're doing, so Gotham City. Then we'll enter the state, and then you're gonna enter very general phrases: real estate, houses, homes. Just very, just these exact same phrases. What you're going to do though is just simply change out the city name for them all and all the others. Don't get carried away here. You don't need to add a lot of meta keywords. Basically, Google even says loud and clear they don't even use these as a ranking factor. So um, don't even don't do more than what you see here. Just do your city name instead of Gotham City. Do your state that the city's in, and then the word real estate, houses, and homes. That's it. Don't do anything more. Now the next step is under robots meta robot meta tags. See where it says no index this page? Make sure this is unchecked, just like this. So you you the only one the only of these three, the only one that you want checked is the no archive. So that one should be checked. But these two should be just like this, unchecked. Alright? So now here we are at the introductory headline and content. Remember what the introductory headline is. Uh, I'll just show you. This is the intro intro headline. And just to show you the example. Uh, this is the intro content just to refresh your memory just in case you don't recall what this is so if this is our intro content and this is our headline here's what this is I'm going to update this page and when we go view the category okay while well, there the page is updated let's go find Gotham City what you're gonna see is the intro headline is that is that text we just put and then here's our introductory content so here's what you want to do you want to use your keywords in your introductory headline in some way not all of them just the single most primary one and here's what I mean by that sticking to the keyword of Gotham City real estate Gotham City homes and Gotham City houses here's what you want to do let's go back to our category and remember you'll be doing this for all your cities the exact same thing but you'll just be changing the keyword to, to the, each respective city so now here's our headline what you want to do is just simply type in Gotham City Real Estate, just like that, you know. Um, and if you could, and maybe if you want to get, uh, you know, if you really, if it feels like relevant, then you could even type in Gotham City Homes. But don't get carried away and don't do this. Don't do Gotham City. Don't do Gotham City Houses because that could look too spammy, and that 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 actually is a bad idea. So the most you should do is just two keywords like this, or even better yet. In my opinion, I think it's better just to have it one, Gotham City Real Estate, just like this. However, your introductory content, if you can use the keyword Gotham City uh, in your introductory content, then definitely do so, Gotham City Real Estate, meaning these three keywords here, the keyword phrases, and when I say keywords, I mean this counts as one phrase, this counts as two phrases, and then this counts as a third phrase. 
try to use all these phrases in your introductory content in some kind of way that is logical you don't just want to throw them out try to say it in some kind of way that would make sense in an actual discussion okay don't just throw keywords out or else Google actually doesn't it won't even help your site it'll actually hurt your site if you just start throwing out keywords without having a logical English language purpose for saying it all right so keep that in mind these are all the this is the way you set up your content concierge pages uh, along with this video tutorial you should have these uh, description you should have the meta keywords that of course will say city name and then you should have your description and your title but just do everything I showed you here and replace the name city name with them everywhere I told you and be sure to keep this this unchecked and use your keyword in your title here and then your keyword in your introductory content so that's everything on setting up your SEO for your content concierge archives good luck let me know if you have any questions by going to facebook.com forward slash tizish and asking me there I'll talk to you very soon take care